As a girl, Anne of Green Gables was one of my favorite books, as was the show on PBS. It was hard to get over that lovely, non-traditional family with the child that nobody wants. And now Netflix is taking a turn at their own adaptation. I'm going to talk about some of my favorite scenes from the original and how those compare to the new scenes in the Netflix and with an E. The Mirror. In the original show, Anne Shirley is always talking with her friend in the mirror, Katie. Of course, Katie is just Anne looking at herself, but it takes her to this wonderful place and she has a good friend. In the new series, there is no Katie, and every time Anne looks into a mirror and sees her reflection, she has a traumatic flashback. Unlike the original, where the meanest thing we see happen to Anne is that her mean adoptive mother burns her book because she's late, in this new version, they are beating her constantly and just physically abusing her. In fact, in the original, Anne is an hour late to deliver lunch to her adoptive dad and he dies. But in this new version, the adoptive father dies while beating the crap out of Anne over a stump outside. In general, I don't miss that imaginary Katie friend in the mirror, but it is difficult to watch how orphans were really treated at the turn of the century. Apologies to Mrs. Lynde. It's the scene where Anne meets Marilla's frenemy, Mrs. Lynde, and she proceeds to tell Anne that she's ugly with ugly red hair, and then Anne tells her off to tell her she's ugly too. In both adaptations, this scene is very similar. And it's good, because Anne's depiction of the prejudice against her for being an orphan and for having red hair is something I can relate to. Also, as a mother of two red-headed boys, it's just something you're very familiar with. People are always commenting, where'd you get that red hair, even if I'm standing right with them? But while people comment on it, people aren't necessarily cruel anymore. Both adaptations do a great job of handling the prejudice that Anne really has to deal with because of her hair, because of her birth. And it's not just that they deal with those issues, but they make you think about when do you fight it? When do you say nothing? And ultimately, Anne just has a great attitude. And so even though other people are terrible, she's always positive. And that's one theme that goes through both shows. The biggest difference I've seen so far is the brooch incident. That's where Anne sees Marilla's brooch. She wants to play with it and try it on. And in both versions, she does really want that brooch. But in the original, Marilla loses it, blames Anne, and then makes Anne tell her that she did it so she won't send her away. It's just Anne doesn't want to go anywhere, so she does confess to a crime she didn't commit because that's how desperate she is for love. And then Marilla's going to send her packing anyway. But in the original, this takes between five and ten minutes. In the new version, this is a whole episode. The reconciliation between Marilla and Anne in the original is quick and two-sided, but in this new one, not so much. Overall, the adaptation is great and really fun to watch, but be prepared that it's definitely heavier than the original. You're gonna have to actually think about the trauma that orphans went through and watch a child be abused, and it is difficult. But you also get to experience the theme that goes through all the Anne Gable stories, and that is that bad things happen, but they can almost always be overcome with some optimism and love.